As the body of John F. Kennedy made a final voyage, inside Air Force One there was disbelief and a historic transition. We have the transfer of power, the official state business of the Republic is going on just a few feet in front, and here we have the private horror and pathos of a widow with her murdered husband. President Kennedy died at approximately 1 o'clock Central Standard Time, which is about 35 minutes ago. Every American alive in 1963 remembers the day. Uh, I was in third grade at the time. I could remember when it happened. I was in school. It's taken half a century for the full story of Kennedy's last flight on Air Force One to be told. Recent accounts reveal it was a tense one, filled with strained moments, as when Lyndon Johnson walked into the presidential cabin President Kennedy had used hours earlier and lay down. Of course, at the very moment, it was when Misery Kennedy steps in the doorway and it looks, it's ex it had to have been extremely awkward. The vice president and staff, who usually traveled on Air Force Two, joined Kennedy's on a cramped Air Force One. Both camps climbed aboard with different takes on the same idea. This was the president's plane. The plane that carried JFK is on display at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. It had carried him to Berlin. Let them come to Berlin. And it would later carry President Richard Nixon to his historic meeting in China. There are also some never-before-seen exhibits. This captain's log records the historic transfer of power. Here on November 22nd, you can see where he logged in what was to be a, a three-day or four-day trip. Um, unfortunately, it was cut short. This actually came from the president's bed and this one from the first lady's bed. Inside Air Force One, a grieving Jacqueline Kennedy, joining a wake by the close aides known as the Irish Mafia, had her first whiskey. Lady Bird Johnson overheard a Secret Service agent say, we've never lost a president before. And Lyndon Johnson was secretly sworn into office beside Mrs. Kennedy, still wearing her blood-spattered suit. On that fateful trip from Dallas, President Kennedy's coffin was carried up these stairs. When they couldn't fit it inside, the crew had to cut out this bulkhead here in order to fit it in. They flatly refused to carry it in the cargo space. Behind drawn shades, Johnson wondered whether Russia or Vietnam were behind the attack. After Kennedy's body had been carried off at Andrews Air Force Base, the staircase was taken away for a few moments, leaving a forgotten President Johnson behind. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Dayton, Ohio.